Hello guys, um, so today I'm going to show you how to run um, a topic modeling algorithm called LDA on Spark. So first of all, uh, you are going to need to or, uh, to clone the, the Git repo um, that is available here. And uh, so here is our code to um, run this algorithm. So this LDA is a topic modeling algorithm that is very used uh, these days and uh, we'll be able to get from um, some documents uh, the distribution of topics for each document. So what you do is mainly get this and when you have this you're going to uh, to go through to your package and um, to your uh, directory here and uh, package uh, package the 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 project uh, using Maven, so Maven package. So I already did that. So this will give you um, a jar file, and what you need to do is um, take this jar file and uh, upload it into um, F3 for example so um, I did that already and uh, so I have created a bucket called spark bucket P PHA and a folder called LDA and um, in this folder I have a jar file so this is uh, the jar file that was created uh, by using maven package I uploaded there and uh, also I uh, made it public so you have to do action and uh, make public so that you can access this link you also ha gonna have to uh, upload the input so here is our input it's a small text file um, part of it, the Wikipedia data set that I uploaded there um, and also you're going to have to have an output directory so this guy um, so now that everything is set and loaded into A3, uh, you're going to need a, a cluster, a cluster of um, EMR machines. So um, I already built uh, a cluster, asked for a cluster in EMR. So what you need to do is uh, a couple of things first. You need to um, have a couple of things ready. So you need to first uh, point this cluster to your bucket in order for it to be able to access uh, its uh, files. Then you need to have an Updoop distribution uh, available. And um, so you can define whatever uh, machines you want. And you're going to have uh, the key pair. Also, it's important to have a key pair uh, in, um, set up so that you can later on SSH into it. And then you're going to have uh, to um, set up a custom bootstrap action. This bootstrap action will actually um, you can just point to a Spark install file that is in F3 in the Elastic MapReduce support bucket and this will install Spark on your uh, cluster. So now that you, you did that you can click here on create cluster. Uh, I already did it so um, here is my cluster now so that's this guy and this guy is set up after like uh, maybe f two minutes and uh, there's three machines and uh, he's waiting for any instructions so I'm going to uh, SSH into into this cluster so I'm going to SSH into the master that is uh, at this particular address in order to do that you need to um, download the the key the key pair that you pointed that you used to create the cluster and um, use this uh, IP address to SSH into this. So mainly you're gonna have to say SSH the IP address and point to the key uh, that you define already. So if you do that, now I'm uh, SSH into the master of uh, this cluster. So then I'm going to have to, to get um, the the jar file uh, that I put into a three. You need to do that. Uh, you need to get it locally because uh, the you will not be able to point to uh, a remote jar file in Spark. So you're gonna have to 
download this uh, into your machine. All right, so it's done. I have it now. So now this uh, jar file, Spark, LDA, with dependencies, etc., is stored uh, on my uh, master uh, machine. And I'm going to submit a job. So in order to submit a job, you're going to point to uh, the Spark-submit uh, file. Um, and then you're going to specifi specify a class. This class is going to be Spark LDA dot Spark LDA, and you specify the jar that is here, the jar with dependencies. Then you're going to uh, specify a couple of options: the input file, so that is sitting on my a Spark bucket, um, uh, S3 bucket, so this English whatever that is, and then uh, the output directory. So it's just the same uh, output directory. The number of iterations, let's say ten iterations and let's say 10 topics and then you hit enter <clears throat> so now spark will uh, start uh, building and um, it will start the algorithm so if I uh, put this into full screen you you see that uh, it's starting to compute and to uh, to give you a bunch of uh, logs so obviously it will take some time but uh, you see that, okay, so now the algorithm is done with the initialization and starting iteration zero. And it will keep on going uh, like this for a little while. I'm going to skip until uh, the end of the algorithm. Okay, guys, so uh, now you see that uh, the algorithm is done, is finished. We see that uh, it uh, it saved the files, so it's um, it uh, completed. So now you can see that if you go into uh, your uh, LDA uh, output directory, you see these uh, three files, three directories. Um, the first document topics uh, give you the topic distribution for uh, each document, and then uh, the topic count gives you uh, the number of uh, topic for each document and then in the end the word topics uh, it's for each word what is a topic distribution so these three files are text file that you can uh, that you can download or um, or use it however you want and um, for example let's check out this guy so let's save it and uh, and see what's inside this guy. So this guy, I'm going to open it, open it with Sublim. There you go. Okay, so now you see this is the word the word um, the word topic uh, file. So you are going to have all, all the words uh, in this uh, in in this in these documents and with uh, their topic distribution and uh, their word counts so the first uh, is the word count so you see that the, there's uh, this word in appeared three times and you have the topic distribution over all the topics so this guy only belongs to let's say topic two and this guy here appeared seven times and is more uh, belongs to different topics so uh, you have the same thing for the documents and you have also the the, the global topic count alright guys so this, that's it for uh, this demo and um, I hope you you enjoyed it bye